I just got my new Heidolf rotary vacuum evaporator. We're going to go through the installation and setup. So this is the drive unit. The variable speed of the drive and the heated bath that will warm the flask. These are the little plastic seals and coupling. That is referred to as the vapor duct. Clamping sleeve. Clip. The plastic sleeve prevents the tube, the glass tube, to be stuck within the motor drive. The locking button right up here. The cross, push the locking button and tighten. And tighten. Drive. Okay. That locking button is right there. That seal is uh, what is allowing a vacuum tight seal against the rotating flask and uh, vapor tube. Now you just slip that on and then slip the spring over. Okay. You have two knobs on, on the left hand side. So you hold the condenser with one hand. And you have a full range of movement depending on the size of the flask. You have this pinch clamp and now securely locks this in place. This is the evaporation flask that comes with the unit. It's a one liter flask for 1,000 milliliters. This is a cat clip. This clip will clamp the evaporating flask to the vapor tube or steam duct, depending on what the Okay, while you're installing that, perhaps you could tell me, are additional size flasks available? For, for that because I think that uh, I'm going to want to run more than a one liter sample. Yes, additional sizes are available. Uh, larger than one liter would be two liter and three liter volumes, which would increase the work capacity of uh, available evaporation. Yeah, okay. Three liters, you know, three quarters per gallon, that's pretty good. We're going to use a secure support rod. We believe that securing the nets are in place ensures safety. That the most expensive part, glassware wise, of your evaporator will not move. So basically, I'll just run through what's going to, what this unit's going to do we will be rotating this flask in a heated bath yeah. and therefore creating a lot more surface area for the evaporation to take place. Also, the system will be under vacuum which will uh, promote uh, boiling or vaporizing of whatever liquid I put in there at a lower temperature. So by reducing the atmospheric pressure we, we shift the boiling point. By rotating the flask we uh, significantly increase the surface area for that uh, liquid to go vapor. The liquid then is going to travel from this flask through the vapor duct up into the condenser area. We're going to circulate a low temperature fluid uh, using one of the PolyScience refrigerated circulators. We'll circulate a propylene glycol through that coil. The vapor hits that coil, condenses, and it will be captured in this receiving flask. We're going to be hooking up uh, a very simple vacuum system to this. 
uh, an aspirator type vacuum. My memory serves, that little device is the uh, vacuum regulator? Stopcock, the manual Stopcock. regulator. Okay. Via hand. These two little holes, one here and one on the outside of the condenser, open to environment, and as they are closed, full vacuum is able to be reached inside the unit. As you bleed in more air, the vacuum raises. Right. Now, as I recall, too, these uh, ground glass joints, especially where we've got to manipulate and make adjustment, we want to apply uh, a, a food safe lubricant there. Correct. Something along the lines of, uh, I know in one application we used uh, chapstick. Correct. Or beeswax, something along that line. You could probably use shortening, something more viscous, uh, something very thin like uh, olive oil doesn't really give you that uh, you know, the, the, enough thickness to get smooth operation. And uh, so I would recommend something a little, with a little more body. Something flavorless would be ideal. Right, because, there, because the system's under vacuum, we could get very slight amounts of that commingling into the condensate. So a so flavorless food safe uh, lubricant. On top of here, this this stock cock, this is called a ground joint. This is the inner and this is the outer joint. It's placed on top. The vacuum source will be connected via tubing to this port.